How can a student contribute to organizational success? Whether you have a local issue you want to improve, a startup you wish to launch, or a project that would benefit from fresh ideas, engaging students in EL within your business or organization creates a platform for growth. Perhaps your needs include additional human resources to meet demands within an increased client base or creative talent for producing new company materials. Whatever they may be, a student's journey into hands-on learning can support your industry and promote community success. And what we do in this course is we work with health professionals in the community. So I've uh, pre-identified a number of different projects with the community partners and then I identify a number of students to be in the course and then they choose the project uh, that they would like to be involved in and from there I have workshops together with the students and the health professionals and they talk about the issues that they have in the community and then the students work with them through a set methodology to identify what the issue is, what are the root causes, and then actually engage in interventions and evaluation of changes. One guy who works part-time for me was my first co-op. He's been great. I hired him when he was second year. Every time he comes back to St. Catharines, it's easy for me to just say, you know what, okay, got some work for you. And it's just easy for, and it helps him, so him and for me. It's, I know he's worked with me for four months. I know his ethics, work ethics, I know his skills. So it's easy for me to hire a part-time student whenever I need stuff. It's, it's quick to just call him, can you start working? This project spans six of our courses currently. Um, we are doing a phase one environmental site assessment as part of our contaminated sites project. We have done a PR project where we did a public open house to get public feedback on potential options for the project. We are doing an ecological restoration design for the project and we're doing the open houses now that the design selection has happened. So our intent is to be able to, to kind of walk this through everything from presentations to public outreach to technical sampling analysis to a phase two environmental site assessment to a risk assessment to closure and at the end the students will not only have made a number of connections and, and many important partnerships around the region, they'll also have a portfolio of complete projects that they can take to an interview and say here's, here's just a sample of what I can do for you.